Hi, hello, and welcome. This is Abiram Palum with SS Multimedia. Our lesson we're going to do today is using rounding to estimate. Objective. Rounding numbers to estimate the total. What that means is we're going we're gonna to do some multiplication of problems here. And we're going to round them to make them easier instead of instead of doing them in a array and it will take us almost a long time to do. But we're going to round them and we're going to um, get a, a back estimate of our answer. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say, let me get my, let's say, 24 times 18. Now this problem, you would have to line it up, um, line it up by um, 24 and 18, which would take a not a long time, but um, but it would it wouldn't be fast if I would say. So we're gonna round our totals. So 24 can round to 20. And then 18 can round to 20. And then we're going to do 20 times 20 would equal 2 times 2 equals 4. And we have to add our zeros here, so 400. So our, answer, um, our estimate would be 400. And I'm going to explain you... Sorry, give me a minute. I want to explain you why we rounded um, both of them to 20 in just a minute. So 400. So the reason why we rounded to 20 is because anything after 5, let's say our, um, our number here would be um, 25. Anything after um, 5, we round um, forward. Um, so if this was 25, we round to 30. So that, but anything before five, we round backwards. That's why 24 would go to 20. Now 18, well, eight is bigger than five, so we round forwards. And the next 10 that comes after 18 is 20. So then we do 20 times 20 equals 400. So our estimate answer would be 400. And that is why we round 24 times eight, um, 18. We round 24 to 20 and 18 to 20. Now, I encourage you to use this method whenever your teacher writes a question like this upon the whiteboard or Promethean board. I encourage you to round your answer. I mean, if your teacher allows that, I, I encourage you to um, round these numbers because it's easier in a way and it's a little faster and, you, um, and you'll get an estimate amount of total um, and only if you're allowed. Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to round them to the round, uh, wrong numbers, like um, 24 would go to 30, 18 would go to, um, let's say, 10. You, if you do that, you will get a way different answer. Let me just show you. So 24, let's say we round 24 to 30. And let's say we round um, 18 to 10. So 30 times 10. Let's see what we get. 3 times 1 equals 3. We would get 300 as an answer. This is 100 apart. So it's not so close and it's not so far, but our but our reasonable answer would be 400. Let's move on to our next equation here. 43 times 23. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is round this to let's see 40 because 43 uh, is before 45 and anything before we round back so 43 would round to 40 and then let's see 23 is before 25 so anything before 5 we round back so 23 would round to 20 again 4 times 2 4 times 2 equals 8 
and then we add our two zeros and our estimate would be 800 so that's our estimate for this um, answer 43 times 23 and our estimate answer would be 800 and 91 times 72 now these are all practice questions um, 91 would round to 90 because anything before 5 we round back so 90 times let's see 72 so this would round to 70 because we're rounding back 9 times 7 well let's see this one's uh, a little tricky you can use a multiplication chart if you have one or if you already know your multiplication fact you might already know 9 times 7 equals 63 And you add those two zeros, comma. Now, the reason why I said you can use your multiplication chart because I encourage you guys to go with me, write down these problems, and try to do it with me. Like, um, try to do it with me. Like, you follow me. You um, you don't pause the video in a sense. You just write down notes, or um, like yeah. Follow me. Try to do these also. So six thousand three hundred. So our estimate answer would be six thousand uh, three hundred. Let's fix that. Mm -hmm. Let's typo six thousand three hundred. Now change my color here. So 45, hmm, let's see, remember when I said anything um, that is four, a 5 and forward, we round forward. So 45 would round to 50 times, let's see, 78 um, we can round to 80 because we're rounding forward because 8 is bigger than 5. So 80, well let's see, 5 times 4 equals 40. Oh, sorry, 5 times 8 equals 40. 0, 0. We, don't, we should not forget to add our zeros. And our answer is 4,000. Our estimate answer, not our true answer. And you always want to write, in case you teach to write things, you always want to, if it's a word problem, and if you're um, if you're writing your answer, always, always don't forget to write estimate, because if you don't write estimate and you write the estimate uh, the estimated answer that you solved then you might get it wrong because they think they might think you wrote, you wrote the true answer instead of the estimate so just don't forget to write estimate before that now this is our last problem and um you guys know that uh, I guys want you to try it out yourself so pause the video and try it out yourself so assume you have paused the video did you get an answer well let's see 32 can round to 30 and then times and we round 21 to 20 well let's see 3 times 2 equals 6 and then 0 0 did you get it right comment down below if you got it right and our estimate answer is 600 so comment down below if you got it right or wrong um, my name is Abiram Palm. Please, please tell us how we can make our videos better. Um, please like, share this video to your friends, and subscribe to SS Multimedia. Follow us on Instagram. And please stay safe in this quarantine. And if you want to do anything like this and you have technical issues, please comment down below. We'll respond. And thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Abiram Paul. Um, tell us how I can explain my videos or do my videos better and subscribe to SS Multimedia. Thank you so much for watching.